Um, Jeep the industry, very, very important, and, and this is a misunderstanding really. The basic premise of BRT is that it's developed as an employment initiative. It's about growing the economy, developing the economy, not constraining it. We realise that some jeepneys operating as they do now won't operate as they do now in the future. But it's not to say that those people become unemployed. This is a World Bank project with strict social guidelines. So therefore, we'll make sure that we involve the jeepney industry as it exists now in the future operation of BRT. system might look like. First of all, where would it go? This is a, a representation of the network. So the first part of the BRT will go in segregated lanes between Blackow, uh, along uh, Sebu South Road, and Bacalso, up at Smenny Boulevard, along Escario, to Ayala. So that will be a full segregated route with a link down into SRP. As I'm sure you're all aware, SRP is a major development which will generate a lot of traffic. In fact, we've calculated it could generate up to 30,000 new trips in one hour. So it's a very, very large scale development. It's very important that a mass transit system like BRT is there from the start. Actually, the, the, the proper road right of way is around about 25 metres wide there. A lot of it's been encroached over time by illegal um, settlements and illegal activities and, and various things. Uh, but actually, the road reserve is 25 metres. And it operates with two wide lanes for all cars. Um, sidewalks which have really been... With BRT, we put the BRT way in the middle, seven metres in, in the middle. We have nice sidewalks either side, so people can start walking up and down the road as they really should do. Part of this project is about putting underground all of the utilities, so all of those electric cables and things would go underground. So we can use the sidewalks properly, nice and wide, so you've got lots and lots of space. Um, visually it looks a lot better as well.